Got another question for the organic mechanisms topic. So this one's all about carbon-carbon bond formation. I hope you like the video and if you haven't already subscribed, why don't you think about subscribing? Anyway, as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So we've got to describe two different mechanisms for carbon-carbon bond formation in aliphatic compounds. So the first one we'll look at is the reaction of haloalkanes with either sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide in ethanol solvent, and that's by nucleophilic substitution. Now, there's absolutely loads and loads of different examples we can use here. So obviously we haven't got time to do all of them. I'm literally just going to do one for each. So the example I'm doing is one chloropropane with potassium cyanide in ethanol. So there's the overall reaction. The product is called butane nitrile. And the carbon-carbon bond that's being formed here is between this carbon and this carbon. But we'll see that much more clearly when we look at the mechanism now. So I'm going to use displayed formula for this. So there's my one chloropropane with the dipole across the carbon halogen bond. There's the cyanide ion from the KCN. So you can see I'm showing the lone pair on the carbon. Don't worry, the minus sign doesn't have to be above the carbon. It could be there. And so the first thing we need to do is take a curly arrow from the lone pair on the CN minus ion to that slightly positive carbon. And then that carbon chlorine bond is going to be broken it's actually by heterolytic fission i'll come on to that at the end so there's the organic product the butane nitrile and there's that carbon carbon bond that's been formed you'll notice i haven't shown the triple bond between the carbon and the nitrogen there some of you might have drawn the full triple bond which is absolutely fine as well um, the chlorine when it breaks off is a chloride ion so that's the mechanism there. So we'll just go through a few key things about the mechanism and then we'll move on to the next one. So the nucleophile is that cyanide ion, that CN minus ion, and that's because it's an electron pair donor. So you can see that clearly there, lone pair of electrons donated to the carbon delta plus. It's a substitution reaction because the CN group, the nitrile group, substitutes the, for that chlorine. And I'm just covering all bases here. So heterolytic fission has taken place there. And that's because a covalent bond has been broken where the same atom, so obviously the chlorine in this case, has received both of the electrons. So moving on to the second example. So I'm just going to run it the same sort of format as the first one. So this is the reaction of carbonyl, so aldehydes or ketones with hydrogen cyanide. The hydrogen cyanide is actually generated in situ, so in the reaction, from a mixture of either potassium cyanide or sodium cyanide and sulfuric acid. And the type of reaction mechanism is nucleophilic addition this time. So the example I'm gonna go for is propanol with a mixture of potassium cyanide and sulfuric acid. So there's the overall reaction. Notice I'm reacting it with HCN. Obviously, that's been generated by this mixture here. And the product, there's only one product, it's an addition reaction, and I'll come on to that at the end, is this thing here, 2-hydroxybutane nitrile. And the carbon-carbon bond that's been formed, you can't really see it very clearly in the structural formula, but it's between this carbon here and this one here. So we'll look at the mechanism now. So there's my propanol molecule with the dipole, this time across the carbonyl bond. So delta positive carbon, delta negative oxygen. There's my CN minus ion from the HCN. And I've drawn it the same way as before. And we're going to do a very similar thing here. We're going to take that pair of electrons from the carbon on the CN minus ion up to the delta positive carbon. And we're going to repel a pair of electrons from the double bond. So it's actually the pi electron pair, which I'll talk about at the end get pushed up onto the oxygen. So there's the intermediate that's formed as a result of that. There's the carbon-carbon bond that's been formed. And you'll notice I've shown the displayed formula straight away for the um, CN. And the final thing that happens, the H plus ion from the HCN is going to bond to that O minus. We'll show that with that curly arrow like that, which gives the 2-hydroxybutane nitrile product there. And we'll just finish by running through the sort of essentials of the mechanism. So it's nucleophilic because it involves the nucleophile. 
same as before, Cn minus ion, electron pair donor. It's an addition reaction this time, remember, and that's because we've got two reactants going to one product. When to become one. And it's heterolytic fission. Again, a covalent bond's broken. This time it's the pi bond of the C double bond O that gets broken, and the oxygen atom receives both of the electrons.